Hello from the NTN 24 News Center in Bogota. I'm Brian Andrews reporting. This is how a house shakes in a magnitude 6 earthquake. These Chilean school kids are being trained what to do if one like this were to strike. The instructions are quite simple. Get down, hide under a piece of furniture, and keep still. The children here come to live it, to feel what it would be really like. Above all in the simulator, which allows them to remember what happened on February the 27th, 2010, and think about what they can do better in the next earthquake. In that earthquake, more than 500 people were killed across Chile, and the country discovered education is key to saving lives. Most of the dead were dragged away by the tsunami that followed. Some were unaware of the danger of staying along the coast, while others were mistakenly told it was safe to go back down. Since then, the government has organized several massive simulations like this one to teach people how to react in a real earthquake. These evacuations should be happening all across the country, not just here by the coast. Chile is one of the world's most earthquake-prone countries, and it's become a leader in retrofitting buildings to absorb the shock of a powerful quake. In 2010, only two blocks of apartments collapsed in Santiago from earthquakes. Now the challenge for engineers isn't just to stop buildings from falling down, but to stop things from sliding inside so people can keep working even during an earthquake. What this anti-seismic protection system does is reduce the effect and absorb the energy of the earthquake. Better training and engineering can reduce damage, but earthquakes are impossible to predict. And here on the Pacific Rim, another potential disaster could come at any time. And that's our story. Thanks for watching. Remember, we've got Latin America covered for you when you follow me on Twitter, at Brian Andrews. This has been a presentation of the NTN24 News Team in Bogota, Colombia.